not a function. So first thing we do is follow the steps. You guys remember I wrote down the steps. Were you here at least for the steps? They wrote down? Did you at least get your homework? OK, yes. Huh? Yeah, I'm not going to write them back down, but I mean, I'll definitely write them down. First thing was always to write this as y. Then the next step was to swap. So if you have this instead of a, if you have like a function like f of x, we replaced f of x with y. The next step was to swap your x and y variable. So that's all you guys had to do. So everybody should have, for every single problem, should have at least done that. I would expect, right? Because there's really nothing mathematical you have to do except for rewrite. So you're just switching the x and y variable. Step number two, or actually this would be step number one was up here. But step number two now be to solve for x. So now you have to use inverse operations. Well, hopefully you guys remember when we were doing solving quadratics, we, we did inverse operation for here. First thing we always need to do is undo addition and subtraction to your variable. So I'm going to add a 4 to both sides. Then I need to undo multiplication by a 6. So I'm going to divide by 6 on both sides. Um, so therefore, I have y squared. Let's see what I did. x plus 4 divided by 6 equals y squared. Now I need to undo the squaring, so I have to introduce the square root. Please remember, guys, please remember, this is not the first time we've gone over this. When you introduce the square root, you have to include plus or minus. Correct? So I'm going to write the y on the left side. doesn't really matter. But y equals plus or minus the square root of x plus 4 divided by 6. You could also write this as y equals plus or minus the square root of x over 6 plus 3 halves. I'm sorry, 2 thirds. You could divide the 6 into both of those. Here. I'm getting some starry eyes. Everybody agrees with me with this, right? OK, so what if I had this? Do you guys agree with me then? You just do distributive property? That's all it is. It's just distributive property. It's put distributive property for division instead of multiplication. So any time you have an expression separated by addition or subtraction divided by value, you can distribute that to both of them. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is, though, for every x value, let's just pick an x value. Let's pick an x value, the easy x value. Let's pick 0. If I was to plug 0 into this equation, am I going to get uniquely one y value out? So if you plug in 0, 0 plus 4 is 4, 4, 6. You have the square root of 4, 6. However, you have to do plus and minus. Is plus or minus going to give you two different answers? So you're going to get two different y values. So since you're plugging in one x value, your one x value now gives you a positive and a negative y value. Right? Does everybody see that? So therefore, since it's giving you two values, this, the, this is a function, but the inverse is not a function. Oh, and then we always rewrote this as like f inverse. But this is not a function. OK? This is a function. Because when I plug in an x value, do I get uniquely one y value out? Again, let's plug 0. 0 squared is 0. 0 times 6 is 0. Negative 4. Is there any way for me to get another number? No, it's negative 4, right? When x equals 0, y equals negative 4. There's only one answer. However, when I plug 0 into here, I have a plus and a minus. So there's 2. Make sense? Yes? No? OK. Good talk.